Hi, Pastor Bill, Bethel Lutheran Church in Green Valley. And today is Tuesday, May 19th. Reminder, if you have not already done so, consider sending a birthday greeting to Carrie and uh, her contact information. You can get that from our parish sec secretary, Marilyn, if you need it. But a reminder that uh, her birthday is tomorrow, 105 years old. We continue with prayer. Good morning, Lord. Every day is a new day, a chance for a new start. Yesterday is gone, and with it, any regrets, mistakes, or failures we may have experienced. It's a good day to be glad and give thanks, and we do, Lord. Thank you for today, an opportunity to love, give, and be all that you want us to be. Amen. Our reading today is from Acts, the 28th chapter. It begins with the first verse. And I thought I would follow up on yesterday's, that is Monday's uh, video, in which we talked about Paul's shipwreck and the Roman centurion who saved Paul and other prisoners from death by freeing them from their chains and assisting them to uh, get to land. We read further. After they have made it to the beach, and uh, people have assisted them following the shipwreck. Paul writes, After we were brought safely through, we then learned that the island was called Malta. The native people showed us unusual kindness, for they kindled a fire and welcomed us all, because it had begun to rain and was cold. When Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and put them on the fire, a viper came out because of the heat and fastened on his hand. When the native people saw the creature hanging from Paul's hand, they said to one another, No doubt this man is a murderer. Though he has escaped from the sea, justice has not allowed him to live. Paul, however, shook off the creature into the fire and suffered no harm. They were waiting for him to swell up or suddenly fall down dead. But when they had waited a long time and saw that saw that no misfortune had come to Paul, they changed their minds and said that he was a god. Here ends our selection. You may have heard of people in the Christian faith who have practiced what's known as snake handling. And uh, that's not something really that takes place in our region of the U.S., but where it has taken place in the past and where to an extent, amongst a small percentage of people, it has taken place and still does. It's seen as something that proves a person's faith. It proves their belief, and it shows that God is caring for them. That if they can handle a snake safely, God will protect them, and because they don't die from a bite, if they are bitten, that it's proof that they are a true believer. And if they die, well, apparently they weren't. Well, we don't do snake handling nowadays. But Paul lands on Malta, and uh, he's welcomed there by people who are hospitable. They're welcoming. But they do have some odd ways. He's bit by a snake, which does not apparently kill him. Perhaps the venom was not strong enough, or it was not a venomous snake to begin with. But it appeared to the people that he was going to die. Paul doesn't. We have many trials and we have many situations in life which challenge us. But certainly God sees us through. God cares for his people. We don't have to prove God's love by embracing a dangerous creature and being bitten. Our love, our love for God is very simple. We believe, we state that we believe, and that's really all God asks for, that we say that we believe, and that's actually a big step. Our lives should mirror what we believe, but what is true and what is fact is that 
our belief is not proven necessarily by what we do because we don't earn God's love. We don't deserve God's love. It is a gift that we accept. And that acceptance is faith inspired within each of us through the Holy Spirit. Paul was an unusual believer, a very dedicated follower of Christ. We would do well, any one of us, to do only a portion of what he did throughout his lifetime. But the biggest lesson that we gather from all of our readings and whenever we open the Bible is to understand that God cares for us in a way that we can never fully understand, that God watches out for us, that his spirit embraces us, and that is that message which we are given to carry forth and share with others. May you do so now and always. Amen. We close with the Lord's Prayer, as always. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. God's love embrace you and keep you safe, now and always. Amen.